Okay, let's take a look at posters uh, by Jack Johnson. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the parts and then you put the parts together and um, hopefully it helps you out a little bit. So um, the beginning of the song starts with a bar chord A to a bar chord B. It sounds like this. Alright. Once you do that, the next part is this little picking part. This is basically what you're playing is a 9 on the high E to a 12 on the high E to a 12 on the B string to the 9 on the B back to the 12 on the on the B to the 11. You're basically doing this little pattern walking it down to um, the 11th fret of the G string. All right, and it sounds like this. I'll play it. I'll play it slow a few times. Okay, I hope you can see it. Okay, nice and slow. One more time. This leads you into another little picking part. This next little picking part you'll actually incorporate um, throughout the song. You, and you just listen to the song and you'll hear when, when Jack plays this and you'll know when it comes up. <clears throat> the next part goes starting with an open E just like this. You're going to play this little part here. All right. And of course, you have to play this rather quickly, but basically what you're playing is an open E <clears throat> to an 11 on the A to a 9 on the D to an 11 on the D back to the 11 on the A and finishes on a 9 on the D. All right. And a lot sometimes and I probably say a lot of times um I usually hit when I finish this little picking part here, I hit both the 9 of the D and the 9 of the G. So you get the But not always. Um, but I, I, I think in the song he's actually hitting um, the 9 of the uh, D and G at the end. Um, I could be wrong, but it sounds like it. Anyway, that's the basic of it. Alright. After you play this little part, you're going to do this next section. And let me just play the whole section and then I'll show you the fingering for it. Okay, so you got... What you're doing here, you're going to come right into um, this B octave chord, all right? And this song is played using octaves, obviously. Um, so if you haven't played octaves before, um, you're going to go from a root note and play the octave off of that root note. And the string in between those two notes should be muted. So you get that nice little... Kind of gives you a different dynamic. So you're going to go from what you're playing here, you're going to play a B. Let me just play the single notes, and then I'll add the octaves. You're going to play a B. Slide to the 9 on the um, E string, to the 12, from the 12, 11, 9, 7. All right, so you're playing 7 to the 9, 12, 11, 9, 7. Now let's add the octave to it. All right, so you're playing... But what you're going to do is you're going to play 
the 9, 7, 12, 11, 9, 7, one time. Then the second time around, you're going to play the 9, 7, hold on, let me hear it one more time. You're going to play this. That's the second time around. Second time around, you're going to play the 7 to the 9 to the 3 to the 5. All right? So it's like this. Both parts together. First time around, you're going to play this. Second time around, Let me loop it two times for you so you can just kind of hear the parts together, okay? So it's... that two times just like I did now then he starts getting into the verse the verse starts right here in the in the E um, but along with this E because you are playing octaves you're going to play it with the open E okay so it's like this you're going to strike the root note and then strike the chord all right and the rhythm for this song is a little tricky just listen close to it and just relax your hand and just Work on it, and it will come to you, all right? So, this is the verse. It's like this. All right, so, what we're doing here, if you notice, you will not move these two, uh, your ring finger and, excuse me, your pinky. Those are going to stay. All you're doing is changing the root notes in this song. Okay, so open E to the to um, the E chord, E bar chord, basically what you're playing, or power chord. All right, and from there, strike it once. Go to the B, and now you're playing octaves again, so you're going to have to make sure this A string is muted. That's the whole key to this song, is making sure that string is muted, so you don't hear it. All right, so. To a C uh, sharp. Okay. Um, what else was I going to tell you about this? Um, yeah, uh, the rhythm, it's, um, he's basically playing it like this. Okay, it keeps going. Keeps repeating itself. Until the next part, which goes like this. It's going to an A to that B um, bar chord again. All right, um, and then um, again, it, 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 it's always going to go back to this little picking part. And there's sometimes in um, uh, like the choruses and stuff that. He's incorporating the picking parts along with these chords, and you'll hear it. So sometimes he's just playing this right here, which is this. And then other times, instead of starting with an E, he's playing this. And he's going into the B.
And then other times, he's just playing this. Alright? So anyway, I hope I'm not making this really confusing. Maybe I am, but... Um, there's only really one more part of this song, and that's this little part here, which goes... part or a little break in the song and uh, you're basically playing an E come down two frets all right to a D to a, um, a C sharp to a B that's what you're playing and then it starts back into the song Anyway, basic idea of the song, and um, just work on the pieces, put all the pieces together, um, and he comes in at different times um, with um, these different pieces throughout the song, so just listen, listen closely and um, work on those parts. So anyway, hopefully this helped you, and uh, I'll see you soon.